Good morning, ESM. I'm Josh. And I'm Elena. With Black Friday four days away, there's still time to mentally and physically prepare for the craziness. More on this after our top stories. Last Friday, 27-year-old Joshua Heffern Heffernan of Maddie Dell died after a head-on crash in Cicero. He was taken to Upstate University Hospital, where he was pronounced dead after the crash. The crash happened just after 5 p.m. on Route 31, west of Tuttle Road. Heffernan was hit by Janet Nunez after her car crossed the center line to the westbound lane, hitting his car. Nunez suffered internal injuries, but is stable. Police are, police are asking that anyone who may have, see, have seen the crash to call State Police invest, Investigator Jeffrey Duck at 315-455-2922. A joyous Christmas parade was turned into a murder scene when a red SUV plowed into a crowd of people, killing five people and injured more than 40. Those numbers may increase when new information comes to light. The circumstances and motivation are currently unknown. The suspect is thought to be a person of interest and was fleeing from the scene of a separate crime. Please stand for the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. On Tuesday, November 30th, there will be a very brief but mandatory meeting for all ESM football players in grades 9 through 12. This includes seniors who will be graduating. The meeting will be held in B23. Once again, this meeting will be very brief. Please see Coach Eschbacher if you have any questions. The home boys and girls basketball games, volleyball matches, and wrestling meets start next week. The athletic department would like to take this opportunity to invite the student body and school staff to our home games and meets this winter. Any student on suspension is not allowed into any contest. Game times for each event is 5 o'clock p.m. And wrestling starts at 6 p.m. Admission is $2 for adults and $1 for students. Cooperative support from the ESM community is always very much appreciated. Remember that masks must be worn at all times during inside sporting events. Thank you for your efforts in promoting athletics at ESM. It's that time of year. The annual Cotillion Dance is coming up on December 4th. The dance is in the large gym from 7 to 10 p.m. Tickets will be sold starting today on the 22nd and then will be sold until break and the whole week after the leading up to the dance. Pre-request songs by scanning the QR code on the screen or going to TJDJ Syracuse on Instagram and clicking the link in the bio. The weight room is open this Monday and Tuesday with regular hours. It is closed during Thanksgiving break. Alrighty. A little history about Black Friday. It's believed by many that the term Black Friday diverts from the concept that business operates in financial loss or in the red until the day after Thanksgiving when a massive sales finally allowed them to turn into profit or put them in the black zone. This is not the case. The term Black Friday was actually first used on September 24th in 1869 when investors Jay Good and Jim Fisk made the price of gold rise and caused a 20% drop in the stock market. By the 50s, the term Black Friday was used in Philadelphia to refer to the day between Thanksgiving and the Army-Navy game during this time. Merchants tried to change Black Friday to Big Friday and never caught on. Now we have some interviews on people who prefer in-store shopping versus online shopping for Black Friday. Online shopping because I don't have to leave my bed. Amazon, Sheen, Etsy. Online shopping because I, it's convenient to stay home and it's just convenient so I don't have to go anywhere. Uh, Amazon, uh, Dick's Sporting Goods, East Bay, Fanatics. I am highly in favor of online shopping. Um, I really like to online shop, um, but sometimes I prefer online shopping to in-person shopping. Um, I have a problem with in-person shopping in that I tend to buy more things that I necessarily need in-store shop um, in shopping. Good morning, ESM. Today on this Monday is very interesting because as you can see behind me, we are going to be hit by some, some lake effect shower and snow that's going to come right into contact with us overnight. This will give us a lot of slush and snow and possibly a very low chance of a snow day on Tuesday. But now, let's go on to your Monday morning weather. 
Today on Monday, we have a high of 41 and a low of 29 degrees. Today will be mostly a little bit of sun, but it'll most likely be breezy, so make sure you wear a jacket if you go out, and today's not gonna be the best day for our mask breaks. Tuesday, we'll have a high of 36 and a low of 27, and that's when, and overnight, that's when our snow will hit us, so Tuesday is gonna have a bit of lingering snow and a bit more breeze. Wednesday is gonna be slightly sunny with some clouds here and there, and Wednesday we'll have a high of 44 and a low of 33 degrees. And with that, I'm Grayson with your colder Monday morning forecast. Okay, well, Josh, every Black Friday shopper knows you have to be on your A-game, whether it be pushing a grandma out of the way for that smart TV, emptying your little brother's piggy bank for those headphones, or pulling an all-nighter just for those deals. You have to make sure you're physically fit for those deals. I interviewed Ryan Logana, owner of Raw, which is Rise Above Wellness Gym in Syracuse, and asked him about some simple exercise you can do to stay fit. Ryan from Rise Above Wellness is going to show us some simple exercises that you can do at home. Hi guys, Ryan Lagana here, owner of Rise, Rise Above Wellness here in uh, Syracuse, New York. I'm going to go over some basic body weight exercises. It won't take you long to incorporate into your daily activities if you have the time, which we all do. Don't give yourself that excuse. So we're going to start off with the split stance lunge. All right, there's 9 million different variations. We're going to go with the basic. So what I'm going to do, whether it's right or left leg, my number one is to get my foot planted into the floor. They call this the tripod in the foot, which is your big toe, your baby toe, and your heel, all right? The goal is to grip the floor, set your base. I want my abs on. I want this neutral alignment in my torso. This back leg is gonna trail my front leg, so my nose and my knee are gonna stay over this toe. I want a rigid position. The goal is to squat down. It's okay if the knee tracks the toe a little bit. That's not bad as long as you have the mobility to get down here. Now the goal is to either push straight up, which would be elevator, or straight back, which would be escalator. They're both great variations. The escalator takes tension off the quad. The elevator keeps tension on the quad throughout the entire movement. Eight to 12 repetitions per leg. Minute break in between, three to four sets, you're golden. The Indianapolis Colts beat the Buffalo Bills 41 to 15. Jonathan Taylor had a total of 204 yards and five touchdowns. The Los Angeles Chargers beat the Pittsburgh Steelers 41 to 37. Austin Eckler had a total of 115 yards and four touchdowns. The Syracuse women's basketball team lost to South Florida on Saturday 77 to 53. They also lost Sunday to Minnesota 70 to 63. The football team lost to NC State 41 to 17 and the Syracuse men's basketball team lost to Colgate 100 to 85. It's their first time it's the first time since 1962 that Colgate has beaten the Orange. The boys and girls bowling teams have their first game of the season today at 3:30 at West Tennessee and I'm Tanner with your sports. Here we go with some great Black Friday deals this year are coming from Amazon. And many different products such as earbuds from the Apple are going on sale. <laughs> you can also get Amazon devices up to 50% off and Apple AirPods Pro, which I see everybody with AirPods now, through the trend, everybody has them, they are up to 21% off. Beats headphones are also giving great deals. Yeah, so we hope you learned a lot from today's show about Black Friday. Make sure to shop till you drop, gotta do that shopping. And from me, Josh, and everyone here at The Morning Show, make sure to get after those deals and have a great day. That's number one. Number two, we're gonna go over the body weight push-up. A lot of individuals can't do a proper push-up because they're not taught the proper mechanics. So what I wanna do, firstly, I'm going to start on my knees, all right? This is a modification. You have to master this before you can progress, all right? The goal when you do a push-up is it to collapse into the movement, all right, while the elbows flare out. So number one is I want to plant my hands into the ground. If this air was the ground, I'm reaching into the ground 
and I'm externally rotating my hands into the floor hard. That's gonna open up my chest. It's gonna take pressure off my shoulder. I want my abs on. I want that neutral straight line in my back. I'm gonna rip the floor apart, air in as I come down. Rigid tension, chin stays tucked. And then I wanna press all the way up with a hard exhale. Good, air in, air out and squeeze. Start off with one rep at a time and you're golden. 